Ilhan Omar um, decided to stick her neck out there and lead the way on an issue that I think is a very, very important issue. The Intercept originally reported this, but in Newsweek you hear, Representative Ilhan Omar calls on Biden to pardon Air Force drone leaker Daniel Hale. So uh, for those of you who don't know, we covered the Daniel Hale story recently. He's a whistleblower. He's the reason that we know that about 90% of the drone strikes under the Obama administration killed innocent civilians. He's the reason that we know that. He leaked the information. He also was a drone operator, and he had a conscience, and he realized, oh my God, am I the baddie? Am I the one who's wrong and evil here and killing innocents, and I have blood on my hands? And he came to the conclusion, yes. He got, I think he got some sort of medal for being a drone operator and killing people, and he thought to himself, what a perverted, disgusting system where I'm being rewarded for pressing a button from thousands of miles away and incinerating sometimes civilians, most of the time civilians, and children and people like that? That's insane. And so he has a conscience, and he said, this is not okay. He blew the whistle on it, let everybody know what was really going on, and for that, he was sentenced to prison. Again, we covered that story recently. So Ilhan Omar says... Quote, the information, while politically embarrassing to some, has shown a vital light on the legal and moral problems of the drone program and informed the public debate on an issue that has for for too many years remained in the shadows, Omar wrote in her letter. The legal question of Mr. Hale's guilt is settled, but the moral question remains open. I strongly believe that a full pardon, or at least a commutation of his sentence, is warranted. She says, acknowledging where we've gone wrong and telling the truth about our shortcoming shortcomings is not only the right thing to do, but also an act of profound patriotism. It is for precisely these cases where the letter of the law does not capture the complex human judgments in difficult situations that your pardon authority is at its, that, excuse me, that your pardon authority is at its most useful. Okay. She's right. She's right. If anything, you could argue, hey, the reason he should be locked up is for pressing the button on the drones and killing the innocent people. That's a legit reason to lock him up. But no, he got, he was found guilty for blowing the whistle and telling everybody about all the killing of civilians that was going on. That says so much about how broken our system is. It's like with the Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange WikiLeaks situation where Chelsea gave to Julian and WikiLeaks evidence of us killing civilians and you had people kill civilians, they did a double tap, they killed the first responders and they were laughing about it as they did it. They were laughing. And instead of the people who did the murders going to prison, Chelsea went to prison for a while. Thankfully, she was released uh, by Obama. And then still you have Julian Assange being persecuted to this day. So it says a lot about the system that it's not the criminals. It's the people who blow the whistle on the criminals who end up going to prison. And this is a rare instance. I got to be honest, I didn't expect anybody to stand up for Daniel Hale from within the belly of the beast. But Ilhan Omar is doing exactly that. And she's right. And I hope that, you know, AOC and Rashida Tlaib and Mark Pocan and Pramila Jayapal and Ro Khanna and all of them, I hope they all sign on to this and put a little bit of pressure on Biden because he deserves it. He's an American hero. I'm telling you, history is a harsh judge, man. And it's a harsh judge in the right ways. And so people are going to realize that in the same way now we know Daniel Ellsberg is a hero, um, the person who leaked the Pentagon Papers, we're going to learn, we're going to know that Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, Daniel Hale, that these are all heroes. And by the way, he leaked it to The Intercept and uh, Jeremy Scahill. So, free Daniel Hale. Add him to the list with, actually add Donzinger to that list too. Donzinger. But, uh, who's of course blew the whistle on big oil and how they destroyed country in South America. But anyway, this guy's a hero. Ilhan Omar knows it, but apparently she's one of very few in Congress who does.